Uh, so your right shoulder is a lot higher than your left. Does it hurt? It feels good. <laughs> I got a big knot in here. Uh -huh. Feel that? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's ticklish. There we go. It's better. See your pelvis is twisted also. So you have this kind of cross pattern. You got high over here and high over here. Head down, just relax. Right short leg. Come on over here. Alright, so we got a right short leg here. Okay. Now just turn your head to the right and it evens out a little bit. Turn your head to the left and it gets a little worse there. Okay, so I know that we also got something in your neck that's affecting your pelvis. We're gonna first adjust you here. Okay, so pelvis is stuck on the left. Then your L5 is also twisted. Let's see what else we got. Take a nice deep breath. Breathe out. Good. You're going to lie on your side facing me. Lie on your side facing me. You're going to bend this leg. I'm going to bring you forward. Good. That's a little too high for you. You bar this. This goes on your elbow. And just relax. You go to the other side. It feels good. Flip over. <laughs> it's okay? You feel good? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Bend that one. And we'll pull this right here on the elbow. Good. Face up. Oh <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, That's so funny. let's look at your neck and see what's causing the distortion in your pelvis. Process. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Was that okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Ah, got a big one right there. All right. Here we go. <laughs> She's okay. <laughs> it's incredible. Right. Got one more right here. We're gonna try and get. She's a little deep. There we go. Very nice. All right, we got a, we got another special treat for you. Give me one second. I'm right, gonna do one more thing. So. I'm gonna have you scooch down towards the, towards the, the end of the table, towards me. Just come down this way. Hang your knees off the edge. Good. 
and lie back down. So we're going to open you up a little bit, take some pressure off your nerves. Mm -hmm. This should feel good. Okay, you're going to lift your head up and put that right there, bring your head back down. Good. I'm going to drop this down and then we're going to put that there and that there. What if the patient is really scared or nervous? Then we sing them a lullaby. Oh. Are you scared and nervous? No. You sure? No. I'm known for my singing. Still scared? No. Head up a little bit and just take a minute, relax, breathe. All right, come on up. Okay, turn your neck right and left. How do you feel? Much better. All right, so you're gonna lie face down again. I want to see if, uh, if your leg length is back to normal. All right, so, so you're back even, turn your head to the right. Good, turn your head to the left. Beautiful, all right, you're all set. So chiropractic is really for anybody, all right? Uh, the whole premise of chiropractic is we help your body function better, right? Um, when you think of health, Right. Health is not merely the absence of any kind of symptom like pain, uh, but health is actually fully functioning at 100%. And when we think about what's fully functioning, we have to start with the nervous system because your brain and your spinal cord are essential to your health. They send messages down to your body and then your body uh, sends messages back to your brain and then your brain will regulate your body that way. It's what causes healing, it's what causes the function of any, every organ in your body and every cell. So what chiropractic does is we look at your spine because your spine is a suit of armor that protects that delicate nervous system and any spine, uh, spinal bone that's out of place is going to cause damage to the soft tissue that surrounds that uh, spinal segment and it's going to create inflammation and then you're going to get lack of communication from the brain to the body. So we're going to come in, we're going to reset that bone to its a normal alignment take pressure off of that nerve and the surrounding tissue, and the body's gonna communicate and function at a, a higher percent. Uh, so this is a model uh, of a spinal segment, and this light represents a um, signal from the brain, which is up here, and it goes down to the spinal cord and out these spinal nerves. Now the brain is sending signal to your heart, to your liver, to your kidneys, all, all to your organs, your muscles, helping everything function, helping heal, helping, uh, you know, um, exchange bad cells for new cells and when the spine is aligned everything works properly what happens is we get a subluxation we get one of these bones that gets jarred out of place either through bad habits or traumas or both and then we get tissue damage in these joints here which creates inflammation that inflammation is going to put pressure on these nerves and it's going to distort the signal going from the brain to the body and allow to slow it down or uh, the, the, the interpretation of the signal will be um, distorted. And so that's when we get problems. We get lack of function. We get liver that doesn't work. We get a heart that can't um, eject enough blood out. So all of a sudden now you get high blood pressure because um, you still need to circulate the same amount of blood through the body. And we'll get healing won't, uh, won't be as, um, as robust. So chiropractor comes in, clink, and restores that normal function mm -hmm. of the vertebrae and we get normal function of that nerve again, the body starts to restore itself back to a full function. So problem happens when people um, have been almost brainwashed into learn thinking that health is equal to how we feel, right? We feel good, we must be healthy. When we take a look at a cross section of a nerve and what we see is only about 10% of the nerve is a sensory nerve. Right? Sensory being sensation, right? Pain, the hot, cold, things like that. The other 90% is reserved for motor function, which is helping your muscles move, and autonomic function, which goes to your organs. So you can't feel that. You cannot feel if your liver is functioning right now or if your pancreas is working right now. Um, but if that nerve gets pressure in, say, um, T7, which goes to your pancreas, 
your pancreas isn't going to work right and you won't know it until the dysfunction gets bad enough that it starts to lead towards a disease process like diabetes okay so we can't base our health on how we feel we have to base our health on how well our body functions and there's different ways we can do that right we can look at x-ray to see um, how much arthritic changes in the spine we can look at something called heart rate variability which measures um, the interval of uh, your heart in between beats and see if, uh, if it changes with respiration like it should and that'll give you an indication of how well the nervous system is functioning so there's different ways you can measure um, how well the nervous system works and that's how uh, we determine where you need to go with your care. Now, the frequency of care is gonna depend on many factors. Age, right? Obviously, somebody who's older is gonna heal at a lot slower rate than somebody who's younger. They're also gonna have a lot more damage because they slips, falls, little micro traumas, like sitting in front of a desk for eight hours a day, 20, 30 years at a job, right? Um, we're also going to take into account um, your lifestyle, right? Are you exercising? Are you sitting on a couch all day? How many hours a day are you, are you sitting, right? Uh, these things, how much stress is in your life? These things will all play a factor into how well your body will heal and uh, the frequency of care. Um, other things that play into account, things like nutrition, right? Are you eating McDonald's every day or you're, are you getting lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, right? Are you taking vitamins? So we, there's a lot of factors that go into how often we see you. Typically, we'd say that uh, a new patient who's never been to a chiropractor before, who's suffering some type of symptom or condition, we look at their x-rays and we see there's some arthritic changes and there's some anatomical uh, changes that need to be made. We would see them about three times a week and then we would reassess after you know, somewhere between, anywhere between six to 12 weeks, depending on the case. Hello, my name is Dr. Scott Jan. I'm a chiropractor and I work in the Glorietta branch of Mabuhai Chiropractic. And today we saw Erica and she had some neck pains and a little bit of low back pain. So we adjusted her and now she's feeling great. And if you have problems, either musculoskeletal or even if they're uh, neurological or hormone issues, give us a call and let's take a look and see if we can help you too.